Hi Hyderabad, this is Ritvika from The Little Text. Today we have Bhakti who is who was a woman entrepreneur and she is trying to change her strategies of running a business and uh, she participated in season 4 master chef master chef she was the runner up of that so how did the cooking journey start in your life so Bhakti. i was actually you want me to hold it yeah yeah please yeah so i was um, in a corporate world like a lot of women these days they want to leave the corporate life and do something of their own i just followed that passion of taking a break so i just started cooking at home and that's where the journey of cooking started however taking me back to when i was 8 years old that's when my actual cooking journey started so my mom used to just pull me in the kitchen saying you know come help me so i started baking when i was 10 i started cooking when i was 8 and um, yeah that's how it all started and then from bombay we moved to hyderabad the show happened and then there was no looking back there was only food and food <laughs> wow that's nice so bhakti was just telling us that how she has this habit of cooking in bulk and she she calls her friends to her house and they eat it yes. so now i'm her friend yes. bhakti's friend in i <laughs> so bhakti so you know you mentioned that you had a uh, business in mumbai. in mumbai so could you please um, highlight how it was and how you had to take some decisions sure. yeah. so um, actually in bombay we really we were uh, living in an area which was called navi mumbai huh. everyone knows navi mumbai it's quite developing and now very much developed but uh, around 15 years back it was just residential basic place where there were no good outlets for food people had to go to you know some suburbs or south of mumbai to eat so when i was growing up all my college i used to keep traveling to south of mumbai or some another suburb that you know we want to celebrate birthday or any kind of celebration so i realized there was that need gap yeah. that you know there's no good joint so i opened a european uh, food cafe over there where we were serving waffles pancakes burgers authentic uh, hand tossed pizzas mm. so we got a fabulous response okay. and then we also got to know that you know there are a lot of um, college crowd staying uh -huh. in navi mumbai because of dy patel it's a very big medical institute okay. and they, there's a stadium also dy patel where all the cricket matches, matches happen, happen yeah. correct so that crowd is not a local crowd okay. so they were looking for some kind of you know comfort international, international as well as comfort oh. food mm. so we started a cloud kitchen which was meal based and we used to do like kari chawal chole chawal uh -huh. aloo puri okay. parathas and we got a fabulous response on that okay so around 5 years we are doing we were doing very well and then covid happened which happened to all of us yeah. sadly yeah so we shut our business in mumbai and now i am in hyderabad and we are figuring out the similar kind of model in hyderabad as well great so that's bhakti's journey of how she started as a chef and how she wants to set up and establish a great business here in hyderabad so yeah thank you so much thank any you. one tip that you want to share with our audiences because you have started a kitchen in mumbai you shut it down but you want to redo the same in hyderabad so i'm sure you had some challenges any challenges that you want to share yeah so actually in food industry the biggest challenge is staff yeah okay the problem is if you realize there are a lot of new restaurants which open up and then they shut like by the time you realize oh i want to try there you go there try once next time you go oh it's shut <laughs> it's because of the staffing so staffing is something which if you want to be in the food business once you crack your staff you are sorted so i have a very very loyal team touchwood and um, i'm a very good boss <laughs> so my team really loves me uh, and so nice. um, yeah even uh, during covid they kept calling me ma'am please we want to work with you do uh, something in hyderabad okay. so actually half of the motivation is coming from all these kind of people so whom nice. you know they want to work with me again so i was like okay let me just get back so getting a good team is i think first uh, step. step towards successful business yeah you know that which is very important great so i don't think she's a good boss i think she's a good leader so that's how she led her team yes. and uh, that's how her team members want her to lead her back in any different state of india so thank you so much bhakti thank for sharing you. your story you and so we much. really wish you luck to start a cloud kitchen and then maybe make it into a hostel yes. hot hotel yeah. yeah so good luck thank you